Well, hello everybody, JT Bear coming at you yet again. Thank you for joining me here on my channel this morning. It is uh, the 25th of November, I believe. And today I'm going to be heading back to the art maps to see if I can find any more of those cactuses. I uh, had a bit of an interesting discovery in regards to that one I picked up yesterday. In point of fact, I actually had two interesting discoveries about this yesterday. The first is that this particular version of the prickly pear cactus is only going to grow to be about four inches tall and it's going to spread out. So I'll get the pretty flowers, but if I do get fruit, it's going to be tiny. The second interesting discovery kind of relates to that. While checking out the soil, I found this. Let me just put my camera on the tripod and we'll continue breaking that open. So my guess is that this is the remains of one of those fruit from this particular cactus. Certainly looks like seeds in there anyway. Let me just crush this and see what happens here. Still such bad lighting here in my indoor garden. I do apologize for that, but I'm working on it. Okay, so... That is a little tiny fruit, but I seem to have found... Three, six... Seven good-sized seeds in there. From what I've read so far, you pretty much just plant a cactus seed on top of the soil. But uh, I am going to look into that a little bit more. Super exciting though. Certainly wasn't expecting to have uh, bonus seeds with this deal. Now that I've got these seeds, y'all know I'm going to have to try planting at least a few of them. And uh, I'm going to wait until I can make myself some decent cactus blend soil before I do that. I've done a little looking around and uh, basically, you know... A 30 to 70 to 50 to 50 mix of sand to potting soil seems to be kind of the recommendation. I've seen a few different videos where people recommend mixing in perlite. Um, basically a lot of different just type aggregates, I guess the word is, that will help them drain. That being said, they also apparently need something they can wrap their roots around. So maybe a compost sand blend. I'm going to fiddle with that a little bit. I, uh, in my excitement of finding an actual plant at the Art Naps, I didn't check for cactus soil just to see if they happen to have any there. And uh, I kind of forgot to talk to my friend about uh, what they do for cactus soils there. There you go. The uh, Opuntia, Opuntia fragilis. Nobody has corrected me on that yet. So I'm just going to go with the Pony Prickly Pear. That's an awful lot of peas. But anyway, the pony prickly pear is uh, not necessarily all I thought it was cracked up to be, but I'm still super excited about it. I'm glad to be adding another cactus to my collection. I'm probably going to go pick up a few different varieties of cactus while I'm there today because they did have quite an interesting variety. And uh, I'm also interested in setting up maybe like a little cactus terrarium. So that should be a fun adventure. I... Uh, I'm not spending the money that they want for those terrarium jars at the Art Naps, though. So, I don't know, maybe I'll, a pickle jar terrarium. You know, I've got those old um, wine jugs that the, the landlord has up in the attic in the basement. But I'm, I'm frankly quite worried about trying to get my hands into there. And uh, I've tried cleaning one. It's not going well. So I'm going to wrap this video up there, keep it nice and short, but I'm super excited to have found seeds. I'm a little bit disappointed that it's not going to be a big cactus for me, and uh, I'm clearly not going to be getting large fruit from it, but the fruit that I'm getting will be chock-a-block full of seeds. So, yeah, that is still still pretty awesome. Um, as always, thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate spending the time with you, and I appreciate you spending the time with me. If uh, I have anything more to report on this particular cactus... I'm sure I'll share. Have yourselves a fantastic day, guys. Take her easy.